youngster and I was like, well, I'm going to make some noise. And I knew Supreme had a big, you know, oomph to it. And I was like Supreme agent. And uh, I put it together and uh, kind of built that brand, helped a lot of millennials buy homes because they recognized that brand and um, that culture behind it. Yep, and yep. that's the experience that they got. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Michael right here with the Producer Mindset Podcast. Today, we have a very, very special guest. Uh, this is going to be on an undisclosed episode because we're still deciding what kind of an order we're going to have the podcast in. But I want to present you guys somebody that, if, especially if you're in the California area, you should know his name is Silvana Barasio, otherwise known right now on social media as the Supreme Agent. Welcome, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Michael and Josh. Absolutely. Uh, really so honored. Can, can I give you, not to cut you off, but can I give people a little background on what we discovered about you? Yeah, that's fine. All right. So let's see if we did our homework correctly, right? So right now, as we speak, as of today, uh, Silvano has over 5,000 followers on Instagram. He has one of the dopest just overall feeds that I've seen in real estate. Too many people are overselling on Instagram uh, when it comes to the real estate. You guys have heard me say this in the past. Mm -hmm. But Silvano has found a different approach from what I feel uh, in order to educate, motivate, and inform his buyers and his sellers. At least that's what we always preach here. Uh, but you have been a full-time real estate agent who specializes in helping buying and selling residential properties uh, in the Almeida County. Is that right? Contra Costa County, Alameda County. Yes. Oh, there you go. The entire and, Bay Area. And let me ask you something. Uh, how did you end up in real estate? Okay. Well, um, how I ended up in real estate. Well, I knew I wanted to be a real estate agent or a real estate investor since I was a kid. I wanted to become a professional baseball player to make a bunch of money to invest in real estate. There you so go. Um, I didn't become a professional baseball player, but I went straight into real estate. Uh, I come from a family of um, real estate investors, not real estate agents. So I'm like the first one in my family that's a real estate agent. And um, so I've been around my father, he, he's been a developer and investor for so many years. I just know everything about real estate, uh, how to invest in it, how to buy a home, how to sell. Um, just seeing him doing it for so many years. And well, I said I was going to go into real estate. I got my real estate license at 21 and I was just educating myself as much as possible. Um, it took actually two years out of fear to get into the real estate industry full time. Uh, mm -hmm. Just taking that big leap of faith. Right. So at 23, I got into real estate uh, and I've been in real estate uh, for one year now. And for one year, I'm, I've sold 14 homes in my first year. Um, now awesome. I'm at my year mark and I've already sold seven homes. So, and they all <laughs> came from Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google business. I mean, all digital marketing you could think of. I built my entire business on social media. I knew how I, I couldn't compete with 30 years experience in this industry, but I knew how I can compete. And that's by being different from everyone else, what they're doing. And so that is social media marketing so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that that's i mean that's amazing right that's the, the preface of this entire podcast we want to help other realtors become more social um so tell me a little bit about what were you doing already stuff on instagram facebook before you went full-time as an agent or was it something that you know for two years you mentioned you were like i, I was in fear of going full-time and then i did it or was it like two years of solid plotting to the point where you were like, you know what, I have the entire game plan laid out. How did that work out for you? So my mar my background is in marketing. So I knew going into the industry, I needed to come up with a different way to build my business. And I'm very observant 
like I observe people and how they build their business. So what I would do is I would work for my father. He owned a, uh, a remodeling showroom in uh, Wanna Creek, downtown Wanna Creek on top of his development business and real estate investing. So I helped him build his entire marketing plan. And then I would go into the office and learn from other agents, kind of see where they're at, how they're building. I was like, man, I see a big hole in this market that they do not know. Like real estate is all about marketing and marketing yeah. homes, marketing yourself. And they're just doing the old school approach of door knocking, cold calling. And we all have the same tools. We, it's no different. So I was like, well, I seen on social media that there's not many people that are doing it the right way. There are people that are doing it, but they weren't doing it the right way. Well, by, uh, you know, how I kind of, I built my business. I figured out and I learned real estate. So what I did was I created videos. I've been looking on, I created videos by looking on Google of what first time home buyers were looking at. And then with me not even selling my first home and not knowing what to do, I looked up on Google what my first time home buyers would look up. I taught myself by doing the videos and then my clients found me as an expert, but I didn't know anything. I was <laughs> like, what do I, I don't know. I'm just reading a script, but I, I, I just did it and it taught me and it was teaching someone else at the same time. So that for any agent that's coming into the business uh, that have no idea how real estate works or the processes, Google is your best friend, YouTube is your best friend. And of course, for agents and mentors around you, but that's how I taught myself the language of real estate is by looking up on Google, the things that my niche was looking up and then I was just taking that, remastered it, and created a video. And it made it gave That's them awesome. knowledge and it helped me out. Really so cool, that's an interesting approach. I've, yeah. I, that's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so awesome. that's that's, that's really how cool. I started. Okay. So it was that's how I started and then got a few deals. And then I how so when you get a listing, you leverage that listing to get more listings, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I flipped the switch and I said, with my buyers, I got to leverage my buyers, not just put a sold picture of the home that I sold, but showing the experience with my buyers, handing them the keys to their first home. And you get a testimonial video out of it. You get the excitement of a real person that I've helped. Plus you show the home that they bought. No. And so with that, you leverage that to get more buyers and that's how i build my business super fast and i get i don't use my phone for that one to capture the moment i get professional videographers to capture that moment it's going to be like 500 dollars, but it's associated with closings and you're going to even get more buyers reaching out to you because that video you give to them they're going to put it on their social medias and guess what all of their friends are going to follow. follow. They're going to follow you and they're going to want to reach out to you because they helped your friend buy a home. So they're like, man, this guy is, this agent's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, you got to understand where your competition is at and they're on Zillow realtor.com. And there's just a picture of themselves with a bunch of reviews. Okay. That's great. Well, what if you show a someone that you helped and the real experience that they had with you and put it on social media where everyone's at That's and it. then they can tag you in that post and then you just get organic following your local organic following. That's so, great, man. That's, That's welcome awesome. home videos. That's called That's welcome that. home videos. Welcome home videos. The welcome home videos. That's, That's right. sick. And you know, you, you've built your brand off of the Supreme agent, right? So right. I kind of want to hear from you a little backstory. Are you, are you into Supreme? Like what, yeah, uh, I was into Supreme for a long time. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm an urban kind of guy, like it, yeah. it's streets and um, millennials. And I, 
I'm on, so I'm very young in this industry. You know, I believe the average real estate agent is 53 years old. So 23 going into the business, I um, didn't know much. And a lot of agents kind of are like, oh, who's this little guy here? You know, this young youngster. And I was like, well, I'm gonna make some noise. And I knew Supreme had a big, you know, oomph to it. And I was like Supreme agent. And uh, I put great. it together and uh, kind of built that brand, helped a lot of millennials buy homes because they recognized that brand and um, that culture behind it. Yep, and yep. that's the experience that they got. And um, now I built that brand and everyone in the industry calls me Supreme or Supreme Agent. Dude, that's and it. it's, it's cool, you know? But now I'm, it's, always time, it's always a good moment to reinvent yourself at some yeah. point. And it's not a bad thing to reinvent yourself. It, Supreme Agent was good to me at a time and it's always gonna be with me. It's it's a part of myself. I built it so part well of the story. that everyone's gonna be, oh, he's still Supreme Agent. But mm -hmm. now I'm transitioning to more luxury, the luxury okay. side of real estate. And I want people to know, I, I, I also wanna be a real estate agent in the luxury side, but I, I didn't want to limit myself as just an agent. I wanted to limit my, I wanted to be broad and I wanted to build my name because I want to be a keynote speaker. I want to be the next Gary V of real estate. You know, there's, there you, go. you know, there and uh, build a business and a team and an entrepreneur and teaching other people about how to build brands and coaching them up on it, how I did. So how I decided my brand was to just use my name, Silvano Barosio. And I come from a big family that are all getting real estate license right now. I have seven uh, family members and they have the same last name as me. So oh, the Barosio nice. group and um, we're all collabing together. We're all young millennials and uh, we're kind of just building our brand a whole different way to the luxury side of real estate. So uh, what do you think is going to be different? So one of the big things that I want everybody on this podcast, everybody that's going to listen to know is, uh, so today, uh, Silvano is with Compass. And the one big thing I noticed about Compass is great marketing, great branding. Uh, but every time I look at hashtag Compass, I see the same exact post from everybody. Yes. But when I find the compass post or a compass hashtag and it comes from the Supreme agent, you know, it's a little different. It has the black and white tones, most yes. definitely does, but it has its own twist. So I want to know a little bit about, so you have this five star experience is what we're going to call it when someone buys a home from you, right? Yeah. Super dope. You give them kind of the whole look and feel of here's a video you're going to share on your timeline. I will share it. You're going to tag me. People are going to organically come to me. That's great. It's almost like your own MTV Cribs, right? Right. So that's that's one aspect of your business. But how how did you figure out what worked for you and your personal brand? So what helped me for my personal brand was well, I I'm a strong believer of what you put out there is what you're going to get. And um, I speak quality over quantity. I love quality uh, videos and I love uh, people to be entertained by my videos. I don't want people to just click out and just miss out on the, the things that I have to say. Yeah. And um, I've seen a lot of agents that are, especially during this COVID-19, I'm going to do videos. I'm going to and go crazy on the videos. And that's the only way to build a business right now, uh, pretty much on social media. So um, I seen that and I was like, well, my whole thing is just, I want to produce quality. And when people look at my profile, it's my resume. So what I put out there is what I'm going to get. And if I, um, at, when I first started the business, uh, I was talking about a lot of no money down loans, like, yep. and I was getting a lot of people that had really bad credit scores and needed a lot of money to purchase a home and 
all these different things. And that was great. I helped them and I produced and I helped those first time home buyers. But what I did was I switched my mindset and I was like, well, I want to provide as much knowledge as possible and I want to get into the luxury side. So that means I have to put luxury listings out there and right. luxury homes. And so with that being said, I kind of, I started one spot of first time home buyers picking a niche. It worked out for me. I closed a lot of deals from it to now going into the luxury side of real estate. And now I'm producing luxury listings, a luxury kind of feel to my, my social media account. And I've already, um, less than a month from doing that switch, I already gained a listing in a million dollar range. So just producing a luxury listing that I have with a developer that I'm doing a partnership with, I did a really nice video for free for them. And it gave me a listing that was a million dollars because of what I put out there. There you go. So, I'm a strong believer of what you put out there is what you're going to get. So figure out what your niche is and execute that niche and then reinvent yourself. I yeah. reinvent myself with the first time home buyers. Works great. I'm going to land a lot of deals for first time home buyers. That's a niche that I've got taken care of. But now it's time to add another a component to my business. And that's the luxury side. So, so essentially you, you, you found a way and you took full ownership of you know this first time home buy first time home buyer market uh you took the time to create content around that but then you noticed okay well i want the million dollar listings and i want higher listings uh and that's the one thing i love that you said that your social media is essentially your your business card right that's that's literally what we preach here it's like your social media, like, I don't hand out a, a business card anymore. I hand you my Instagram, right. you know? And uh, the one thing that stood out is you mentioned quality needs to stand out, right? So uh, whenever I'm taking a look at someone's website, whenever I'm taking a look at somebody's social media, they've been 30 years in the game. They've been 10 years in the game and even five years in the game, right? And the one thing that you notice is the content that they have doesn't match the type of properties they're looking to sell. Right. So how important is it for, let's say I'm a first year real estate agent. How important is it for me to at least start with some form of video and to, and when do you think that it's best to start investing into like, like you said, you know, I gave this developer a free video that was probably on your dime, but you knew the return was coming on the back end, right? So how important it is to, is it to realize early on that, dude, sometimes you just gotta acquire that what you might think is an expense and just invest on video right off the gate on good quality video in order to get to a higher tier essentially. Right, that's the whole thing. Um, so getting into the business, use your phone, you know, use the gadgets that you have, <laughs> the tools that you need, uh, use, uh, Michael and Josh and see how they can help you if you have no idea what to do um, and find the content that's out there and produce a video on your own there's a lot of tools out there that you can use for free and if you're on a budget and just figure out what niche you want to go by and make money it's all about making money at first you know yep. if you're going straight to the luxury listings and and you're producing okay videos for them, they're, it's gonna be hard to make money. I'm gonna be honest with you. You got to produce um, some quality videos because that's the clientele. You know, every real estate transaction is basically the same regarding paperwork. It's yeah. just a different clientele out there and different status, you know? What my first time home buyers, they, they needed a lot of, teaching and knowledge and walking them through that process. A luxury listing, they already done that. They already, sold, they already bought five homes. They want quality service. What my, my whole brand is about is a first class experience. I want yeah. them to understand that what they, when they work with me, you don't do anything. 
They're you not flying coach, baby. <laughs> just sit back and relax. Let me run the show and let's sell the home. All right. So even with my luxury buyers, I'm like, don't worry. We're going to find you that right home. You sit back and relax and I'll send you properties. We'll go look at it right on time and I'll negotiate the best price for you. I'll figure out a way. And just pr providing that qual that white glove service. That's the luxury side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're different clientele and you have to understand that. Um, so I understand stood because of my demographic at 23 years old, that a lot of my, my cousins were getting married. My friends were graduating college, having kids, getting married, and they're eventually going to buy a home. So I was like, I want to help all my friends out and my family that are yep. getting married, buying a home, having kids. And eventually they're going to buy a second home, a third home. And I'm going to, they're always going to remember me. So I took that market from any other realtor in the future that, you know, are going to be my age and they're, it's their family member or their cousin and stuff. They already know Silvano Barosio. Like I've already helped them. So yeah. now that I took that market, now I'm looking towards the luxury side and I've developed my systems to provide that level of service to my clients on the luxury side. So figure out your niche and start on the budget. I mean, if you have no budget, just use your phone and create videos. Things that first time home buyers will look up and you're gonna get clients coming to you. And that's how I started. Had no budget at all to now I could, I could afford to pay some a good amount of money for a quality video with a developer and selling or doing a partnership with them and getting luxury listings because now I can show my eight my sellers I'm selling a 2.4 million dollar condo in downtown Warner Creek why can't I sell a single family home that's a million dollars yeah exactly it's yeah. building the social proof that's that's really it so and they're yeah. like <laughs> yeah. go ahead take it take my yeah. business <laughs> really quick last question on my end just really i just i'm curious so you you built your entire real estate business off of social media right off of producing content on social media showing people that you know you do have that that white glove service even with your first time home buyers right it's hey. you're, you're walking them through that so are you doing if you're doing anything else, what are you doing as far as your marketing goes within your real estate business? So from social media and content production, content. Marketing. Okay. So I do blogs. I, I have SEO for my blog. So when people look up on Google, how to buy a home, I have a blog for that and it's going to pop up. I do um, a lot. So I, your CRM, oh, my light turned off. So <laughs> my, my CRM is crazy good um it's chime mm -hmm. and i do a lot of i do a, a text email blast every tuesday called tip tuesday to my entire database and okay. it's a mass text i give them a pro tip on buying a home or if they're a seller selling a home and i do a video as well a bomb bomb video with embedded into that text and they love it they just eat it all up. So I'm in front of them on social media. I'm in front of them through text message, email blast, blogs. Uh, you look up on uh, Google, Wanna Creek agents. I'm trying to get on the top of the feed. Yeah. Of all everywhere. Like I, <laughs> I don't want to do. My whole goal is to never door knock, cold call ever, and have have my clients reach out to me instead of grinding to reach out to them. That's it's great. inbound marketing that that's, I do. That's, so that's great. great, man. That's fantastic. And it's the question um, that Dean Jackson asks. He's like, what if your phone could only take inbound calls? Like, what, would you, what would you put in place to where you could only receive calls? That was the only way. You know, what would you do? And that's awesome, man. That's really that's cool here that there's agents out there that are actually utilizing this to build their real estate business and you know create something 
massive. So that's awesome. Right. So yeah. let me ask you a question you. really quick. Based on uh, based on what you what you've been telling us, right? One of the big things that I also noticed on your social media profiles is a lot of educational based content. So how important has that been, not just let's say for your luxury buyer sellers, but also for like these first time buyers and just, I, I'm assuming that, you know, you didn't have 5,000 followers when you started. You probably no. have like 200, maybe 1200 if you're famous in town, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, but how, how crucial is educational based marketing for your business? And you know, the res what's the reciprocation been like? So I, I'll show you some analytics that I have for one of my educational videos that I've done. Um, with my regular videos that are one minute long, uh, I'm reaching around 32,000 people. And I, let me see, 32,000 people. And I put a little budget behind it. I put $100 behind it. And I'm hitting my local radius. But my educational videos, I get a lot more engagement from what I understood. And um, let me pull it up here. Give me a second. That's fantastic. So if you can see here, could you see that? Yep. Yeah, man. That's so 42 saves, 40 41 shares. shares. <laughs> okay, right there. Yeah. So wow. I got 41 shares to other people all around my local area to whoever they're looking at. And I, I possibly gained around, I'm reaching around each week, like 71 to a hundred new followers every week awesome. organically, not paying anything for yeah. it organically because of the shares, because of the hashtags and everything that I do, but just, uh, behind optimizing my posts, but the YouTube videos, I mean, 25 comments, uh, 40 shares and uh, 22 saves. And I didn't put a dime behind that video. That's great. Dime. That's so value videos, learning, um, it just takes effort and putting out great knowledge. And, and that's how you build your business at starting. You know, I didn't put a dime behind it. It took yeah. effort and it took, you know, me posting it up and providing value. And so, that's it. You know, you know what's so great about that? It's, uh, first off, this is the first time that we meet, right? Yeah. Um, but everything that you have mentioned that you're doing for your business is literally what we preach our clients. Yeah. Uh, literally, yeah. like we, we can't tell you how, how much we stress like, we're like, we have to do blogs because we need to SEO the sh out of you and your brand and your business and more than anything, even your listings. They're like, well, I have money spent on Zillow. I'm like, okay, I'm spending a thousand dollars on Google. Everyone's doing it. And it's right. like, you're already there and you're also posting market updates, uh, branded market updates from the brokerage, not yourself every time. So it's uh, it's always like, it's so refreshing to almost hear this and, you know, see the success with it. So with people sharing your content, watching your content, um, has it been a lot of you also taking the time to actually engage with your audience and build up relationships? Is that how they went from online relationships to offline purchases? So every client, every deal I've ever had, they reached out to me. I've never reached out to them. Uh, I, I've, if they comment, I would comment back or if they had a family event or uh, they had a new baby or got married. I, of course, I'm going to engage with my following. I'm very social, social media. It's yeah. yeah, you have to be social on it, but my content, I would post, I, I, I would post and I would get people me messaging me and then we will interact because yeah. I gave them information that they didn't know and they loved it and they trusted me. And that's the whole thing is building trust and providing value. So it was very easy for people to reach out to me and getting like, they're just giving, they want to give you their information. They're like, here's all my information, my number, my email, my husband's number, my email, uh, send me to a lender. Just get me approved. Like it's super easy. And my turnaround for those buyers are, are less than a month. So, okay. 
there's a difference. There's internet leads that are Zillow, realtor.com, all those third party vendors. Once you stop paying them, you disappear from the face of the planet. Or what I go after is branded leads. And those leads are next to a referral. It's very close. They're already bought into who you are. They trust you. And they're gonna jump through so many hoops to work with you. You're never gonna have to worry about them. I've never had a situation where I had to say buyers are liars because every buyer that wanted to work with me wanted to work with me. Yeah. And I never had uh, trouble convincing them to work with me or have a handshake or anything like that. They were just so bought in with me that they met with my lender, they got approved, we went out. I told them the process again. They were like, oh, I remember that video you said X, Y, and Z. All right, I know that. And they were like, yeah, and this home is great area. It's safe. It's a great investment. This is a great home. You should put an offer on it. They're like, cool, let's put an offer. I have a system where I can get my offer accepted almost like 90% of the time, and I get them that home. And they're just like, wow, like it's crazy. So I, you've made it, the process almost seamless because of how well you've positioned your, just, you know, a lot of people say like, you don't have to put a persona up on social media. And I don't think you've put a persona, no. but more than anything, you've reflected the level of service that you look to provide. Right. You know? So would you, to anybody that's looking to build their personal brand and their business, would you say, just continue posting about your real estate at least, or are you saying like dedicate some time to really develop and form this if you're serious about it? Right, I mean, so when you're getting into the industry and I need to do a better job at this, okay? Uh, and I'm getting better and better. Um, of course, I'm still on a budget. I'm young in the industry, but eventually um, there's so many things that I wanna do and I wanna show people other than real estate, who I am. Like, I have a family. I, I'm an investor as well. I, I have a dog. I go to church a lot. I mean, I'm very involved in my community. And I, I love baseball. I love football. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of things that are other than real estate related that I would put on your social media. I mean, if you're a mom that has kids, like, you know, show that you're a mom, entrepreneur, uh, you know, show your life. This is, you have to be open on here. Don't be a secret agent. So what I'm trying to say is like, you can build your brand however you like, and it's not expensive to do. Uh, people like working with people that they relate to and like and trust. So oh. show, show who you are on social media and you're gonna get clientele just because of who you are. ZillowRealtor.com is not gonna do that for you. They're not, they're just gonna put a picture up and you're gonna have reviews and you're gonna be in the system where if you don't pick up that phone call and you have to make that cold lead into a warm lead, it takes a work. But I'm telling you, this side of real estate, this is the next gen of real estate agents. What I'm doing is, this is it. Like I'm trying to pioneer it because I know this is the future of how to build business because I can't compete with someone that's been on Zillow for 30 years, realtor.com for 30 years. They already took that market share. Now it's time for new agents to get onto this digital marketing end of real estate and be found on it because that's what we grew up with. We know it. Yep, and it's time to take over the industry. The, the social the, realtor. It's the social realtor, yes. And um, you're gonna, in the market is wide open for you. So, so you know one thing that I wanna I wanna propose right now, right? Um, as we're winding down on this podcast, one of the things that I wanna propose is we're going to continue this podcast. We're going to continue the conversation. I think we're going to be great friends. Honestly, I'm a fan of yours, bro, and I Thank respect you. and appreciate what you are doing. Uh, I think it's. It's a, any of our clients are going to see this and they're going to receive your, your profile so they see exactly what the mission is and what the vision okay. is. Uh, Cause I definitely believe, I, I mean, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, they've built so many multi-million dollar businesses by now that the real, still, the real estate industry still needs to catch up on, right? Right. So 
what I want to do is I want to actually propose a meeting exactly a year from today to see where you've taken your brand and where you've taken your business and really just reflect back on this conversation. You know, you're, you, I, I, you don't look like a new agent to me. You look very much established, you know, and that's the power of like what building a positive and a powerful brand is on social media. Um, so I would love to invite you a year from today. For sure. To see exactly what the Thank conversation you. is like. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, more than anything, the last the last piece that I want to ask and just to kind of leave it, leave it for our listeners and the people that will watch this Zoom call on YouTube or on Instagram or on LinkedIn, really everywhere, right? Um, what's the number one thing you would recommend to somebody? I mean, I think all agents know by now they should be on video. They're all oversaturating listing videos. Um, but what's the one thing that you would tell an agent who is just shy of a camera and trying to steer clear of videos? How would you get them started? Well, um, I understand, I would understand their fear uh, of getting behind a camera and it's awkward and and I would, it, it takes, it takes um, education, you know, to get behind a camera and, and you need someone to motivate you. Uh, I was afraid of the camera, getting behind a camera, uh, very awkward talking to a device. It's like a muscle you have to build. Uh, yep. Just like you work out, you have to work out in video. And eventually you're gonna get better and better and better and better and better. So don't be afraid to get in front of the camera. What I did was my mentor was Gary V. Just gonna tell you, it was online and he told me to get over myself. Like, who cares how you look? Who cares what your friends think? This is what's gonna make you money and and it's gonna help you build a brand and you could do what everyone else is doing or you could be different and this is how you be different and the market is wide open for you so take advantage of it so i got over myself and i was like okay well this is gonna be awkward but i'm gonna do it so i created my first video was super ugly oh my gosh <laughs> i looked at it behind like i wish i could put post it up right now for you guys because i'm just like oh my goodness we'll, we'll share so it on bad. the on the edit yeah it, it's uh yeah it was really bad but, i want to uh, delete some of my old videos but i'm not going to no don't <laughs> delete it it's motivation you know it it's like yeah. man look how far i came yeah, yeah exactly my brand just built from that moment and i will never delete that video because i remember how much it took for me to build that one video to now building what I am right now with my videos and the quality it is. And you're gonna come into increments, but you it's a muscle that you have to develop and you can develop, it could be taught. Um, and I wanna encourage anyone that's afraid of getting behind the camera as just do it. Do not care about the noise. I wanna encourage you it's going to be, it's going to benefit you. The market is wide open. A lot of people need to hear your voice and who you are. So just think of it as you're providing value to them and I'm going to get better and better and better. And you're going to get more confident um, over the period of time, talking on video and talking to your clients as well. And it's going to make the process a lot easier. So. What I would say to my clients is just do it. Just get behind the camera and start exercising that muscle. It's gonna suck, it hurts, it, it's, it's, uh, it takes time, but it will build your business. And anything that's good and, it, and worth it, it takes effort and time. And that's what I wanna encourage you. It's not an overnight success, it's it's gonna take six months but it's worth it and um you're gonna be different and it's fun once you get the processes down it's all about marketing yeah. and i honestly out of 
I do more marketing than actual like real estate, you know, just <laughs> it, it, it's marketing myself. And then when I'm doing real estate, I'm marketing real estate at the same time. Right. You know, ideas running through the, my head and my whole mission is for myself is to build a salesman online. Now I have systems where I just send up videos automatically and I'm educating them with that on autopilot. And yeah. I get them warm without me even picking up a phone call. That's it. Can you just cloning yourself so that, you know, it's yeah. still you, you're still, it's, you are it's still, still you, but it's, it could be a video that you recorded a year ago and they would never know because the information is still Keep fresh today. Thing. Repurposing is huge. I, I'm a huge believer in that. And this is your brand. It's never going away. You could pay thousands and thousands of dollars on ZillowRealtor.com and they're cold lead that you have to make warm or you can build a brand, have a, have your clients reach out to you and it's your brand is never going away. The videos that you create this year and post next year is never going away. Yeah. You're going to get the exact same clientele from that first video that you post last year. And just, to, model. and just to make one last point, you know, the first video is the one that sucks the most, right? It's, it's so tough to get out probably multiple retakes, but to watch <laughs> yeah. that progression, to watch how much you grow and you progress from that very first video, it's, it's really like, it's like you've been working out for six months and you finally see that six pack, you know, you finally exactly. see your, your, you're like all muscular and healthy and good to go. And that's exactly what doing video. I mean, you said it best, honestly, I I've never once called, you know, doing videos like working a muscle, but you said it best, man. And I, re and I really appreciate that. So with that being said, guys, um, if you guys want to find out more about Silvana Barasio, uh, the Supreme Agent. You guys are going to hear him here in a year's time. But where can they find you at today? Uh, can people reach out to you and talk to you about their brand and their business? Yeah. I'm here to help agents. I'm going to tell you that clear as possible. If you want help, if you want to build a brand, I will help you. I will. I know where you're at. I know how, like, what, what it took for me. I already did the hard work. I'm here. I, I have no ego. I'm, I'm more, I, I'm a new agent. You know, I understand where you might be in this process as well. And if you're a seasoned agent that's been in the industry, I have no idea how to create videos. Well, I'm very good at that as well. And I, and it took a while. And <laughs> the thing about creating videos, it's not uh, something that you're born with. It's a skill that you can develop. And that's the beauty yeah. of it. And um, once it's developed, you're, you're good and it's not going away. So um, I'm here to help agents. You can follow me on IG at supreme.agent. You can follow me on Facebook, Silvano Barosio, you can uh, Supreme Agent, and you can find me on TikTok as well. And if you find me on TikTok, it's supreme.agent and look at my videos on TikTok and do the exact same thing that I'm doing on TikTok and post it on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok and YouTube everywhere because it's informational and I've done I do it on my phone and, and it cost me nothing to do. So I would highly rock recommend you follow me on TikTok. I have over fifty five thousand dollars fifty five thousand followers on TikTok. Um, That's crazy. So it's been uh, uh, I think I'm one of the most famous agents on TikTok. But uh, <laughs> there's another guy. There's actually four agents that we're collabing with on TikTok uh, that they have like million followers and they're agents as well. Okay. But, um, we're all, I'm here to help. Like me is, I'm just want to give you guys the tools that help me and eventually we'll do business together in the future. And like I said, my goal is to be a keynote speaker one day, a coach and it's a great time to reach out to me on social media because that's what I love to do is teach. There you go, man. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this has been episode number blank of the <laughs> producer mindset. Uh, thank you guys. And please do check out Silvano Barasio, the Supreme Agent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks, man.